Sarge, I'll trade you an ice cold glass of milk for those clean sheets you carry in your pack. Knock it off, little John. I'm not in the mood. You will be when you hear the good news. What good news? We're getting three new men. Replacements? Kirby went to get them. Well, it's about time. Replacements. Oh, hey, Sarge. The war will be over in a week. I've got replacements here. You got it. Come on in. Line up right there, boys. Uh, Sergeant, uh, straighten up there. Sergeant, these three warriors here come to you directly from two years of uh, rear echelon duty in England. Uh, they are um, left to right, uh, officers mess cook, <laughs> and uh, this fellow is a calisthenics instructor. And this little fella here, he's a radio announcer from the AFRS. <laughs> They're all yours, Sergeant. Take off your helmets if you want. Just take them off. What's your name? Joe Gainsborough. Is that General Joe Gainsborough, Colonel Joe Gainsborough, or just plain Private Joe Gainsborough? Just plain Private Joe Gainsborough. Serial number? Uh, three. Four, one, three, four. Uh, Three, four, I don't know. What's this called? A gun. <laughs> this is a rifle. 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 Now, how much is away? Uh, what do you weigh? 205. 205, huh? What did you weigh when you were drafted? 160. <laughs> I've been a cook for two years. What's the final protective line? <coughs> the main line of resistance? Uh, do you know? No, sir. Sir is used for offices. I'm a sergeant. What's your name? Private Wayne Temple, Jr. Serial number 3141210. What do you put in that rifle? Bullets. Caliber? 30. How many to a clip? Six. You're wrong. Do you know? Eight. Are you sure? The U.S. Rifle M1 is a gas-operated semi-automatic shoulder weapon that takes a clip of eight cartridges. Well, 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 well. Now we're getting somewhere, huh? Or is that all you know? I know what I've been taught. No more, no less. Taught where? Infantry refresher training class. We had two weeks. Two weeks. And learned? The rifle, the pack, field sanitation, military customs and courtesies. My name is Jerome Crown, serial number 43... Nobody asked you for your name, Private. Have any of you seen any action? Any special military training of any kind? Oh, sure they have, Sarge. Look, that one over there was a fry cook for two years, and this one a, a calisthenics instructor, and this one here was with the radio service in the overseas. Look, we didn't ask to be sent here. Uh... Gainsborough, what did you do before the war? I was a used car salesman. <laughs> <laughs> you? I was a physical education student. Oh, in a pig's eye. I saw his records. He was in ballet. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, let's knock it off now. Let's try to give him a chance, huh? Now, what was it, uh, phys ed or ballet? Ballet. I wanted to go into the theater. Musical comedy, maybe. All right, Mr. Radio Announcer, what did you do before the war? I was a radio announcer. I was a disc jockey in Cincinnati. And I'll be one again, too, the day I get out of here. <laughs> when you get out. What makes you think they're going to be disc jockeys in 1980, boy? Oh, don't worry, smart guy. I won't be here in 1946, let alone 1980. 
The only cleric goof that sent me down here in the first place. I'll be back in London in two weeks. Or in a grave. Oh, no. Not unless my luck runs real low, buddy. Like a direct hit in the head. Replacements. Combat. A Selmer production. Jack Hogan, Stephen Coit, Arnold Merritt. Lieutenant, did you see the replacements they sent me? All right, let's have it. Well, it's no joke. These guys won't last a week. I'm worried about it. So am I. What do you want me to do about it? Send them back to London. And get what in exchange? Soldiers. From who? Quartermaster? All right, let's get down to business. You've got a detail tomorrow afternoon. Reconnaissance patrol, six men including yourself. Six men? Lieutenant, my squad is poop. My men are... A breathing from habit. I can't find six men who can stand, let alone go on. All right, make it three men, plus the three replacements. Lieutenant, are you kidding? They'll get us all killed. They don't know a patrol from a picnic. Teach them the difference. Teach them the difference. All right, let's try another one. Down. Full pin. Prepare to throw. Throw! All right, you and Gainsborough go back in a bomb with Kirby is and work on your hand and arm signals. Right. All right, you're next. Get down in here. Down. Pull pin. Pull pin. Prepare to throw. Throw. I got it the first time around. Well, good for you. Pull pin. Prepare to throw. Throw! I'm going to tear you apart. Why? Because I dropped a grenade? It wasn't my fault. It slipped out of my hand. All right, it was an accident. Yeah, so what are you getting so sore about? Why did you run? Why didn't you pick that grenade up first and throw it away? I told you to do that before, if it ever happened. What would happen if there were a dozen men down there? How many do you think would get out alive because you ran? Oh, come on, get off my back, will you? Look, you fight your war and I'll fight mine. You want to get to Berlin, I want to get to Cincinnati. Sergeant! Sergeant! All clear! All clear. Hey, the lieutenant wants you on the double. What for? What does he want me for? The patrol. We're moving out right now. Okay, Sonny. School's out. All right, this mission couldn't be simpler. Italian S2 is right, there's little danger. If they've called it wrong, there could be a lot. Now, this map is right only in general detail. Don't count on the landmarks. Now, we're here. The Germans are dug in in force here at Moreau. On the road to Moreau, there's a town called Emile. We think it's deserted, but the Germans have pulled out completely. 
Maybe that's what they want us to think. Your job is to find out for sure and report back. Don't engage the enemy unless you have to. This is a reconnaissance patrol. Any questions? Yes, sir. Does S2 have any idea of what we might run into, if anything at all? No light stuff, probably. But enough to cut our platoon down on the way through if we're not ready for them. Any more questions? All right, you pull out in an hour. That's all. Hey, soldier. Who did you say your name was? Uh, Temple. Look, Temple, don't worry too much about getting killed, will you? I'm not. It's killing other people I'm worried about. All right, grenades. Two apiece. I don't think we'll be seeing much action today, but let's just, let's just take them with us, huh? Junior, grenades, two for you. Gage, uh, told me something was bothering you. I'm all right. Look, everybody is, is afraid. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not like everybody, Sergeant. You think dancers can make good soldiers? <laughs> sure, why not? What about cops? Well, what about cops? That's what I am, by bloodline. Father, grandfather, brother, cousin, all cops. Well, what's your point? People killing people. I grew up with it. A cop gets shot or somebody gets shot by the cop. After a while, it didn't matter to me which was which. I just wanted to get out. A million miles away from it. I don't think I'd make a very good cop either. How do you like that? The men in my family couldn't wait to enroll me in the nearest police academy. I'll bet ballet school discouraged them. Huh? It also got me thrown out of the house. Anyway, I didn't want you to think that what I feel about people killing and being killed is new to me. It isn't. You know what I think. I think you're way ahead of the next fellow. You've got the edge. You want to know why? Because you grew up with, um, well, people killing people all around you. You know what it's like. But you take a look at them. Crown and Gainsborough. All this is brand new to them. So you just think of that, huh? You just, um, just think of that. Hey, come on, you guys, let's go fight a war, huh? See anything? 
Just an empty town. We'll have to go in closer and get a better look. All of us? All of us. You take Gainsborough. Kirby, you take Junior. Crown your mind. Now we'll circle the perimeter and come in on the other end of town. Why, why the other end of town? Because this is the way they would expect us to come in. Now you four, you take the east side. Cage and Gainsborough, you go first. Kirby, you and Junior, you follow at 20 yards. We'll take the west side. Hey, who covers us? We cover each other. Good luck, Sarge. Now we'll meet at that little house right next to the church. You see it? Right? Move out. Cover the street on the other side of this bridge. Go all the way down to that archway. I'll take this side. I thought we always worked in pairs. We are. Only be a shot away from you. Now, if you see anything, you pull back fast and meet right here. Check the whole street. Sure. All the way down the archway? Yeah, sure. She told me to do. All right, let's get back to the others. We got a lot more to go on. Why? What for? We found the town was empty, didn't we? Well, it seems empty. Now I gotta check it through house by house.
lange müssen wir noch hier bleiben in diesem Loch. Bis wir den Befehl bekommen, zurückzuziehen. Diese armen kleinen Katzen, wenn die wüssten, in was für Zeiten wir leben. Schade, dass wir keine Milch haben. Milch? Ich habe schon selbst keine gekostet vor langer Zeit. Vielleicht etwas Wein. Wein, ja. Nur ein bisschen Wein gehen. I know about a couple of cases. You? No, nothing. When you pull out of here, they must have pulled pretty fast. All right, we'll use this shop as our base of operations. Now we're going to have to go through this town again, house by house. With the same teams. Now, if you run into any trouble, try to make it back here. All right, Kirby, Junior. Let's go, Junior. Cage, Gainsborough. Oh, come on, Gainsborough. I don't mind telling you I'm scared. I don't mind telling you that's the way you're supposed to be. Come on. Let's go, Crown. Junior, you all right? Had a long day, Junior. You, don't you know that? <sighs> Come on, let's go back to the dress shop. trying to do? I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be more careful. Well, another stunt like that one, you won't have a chance. All right, let's go back to the dress shop. Come on. Check this house out. I'm gonna go around the corner. But I really mean check it. Upstairs and downstairs. And be careful what you touch. This place may be booby-trapped. Booby-trapped? That's right.
you tell me you check this house through, and I'll kill you where you stand. You said it might be booby-trapped. And maybe full of Germans. Now, what about that street that you check when we're alone in town? Did you cover it all the way? Did you check it down to the end? Get back to that dress shop. Move! So I'm bringing these guys along. Now, they're going to make real great soldier boys. Now, the cook here's got two big, fat left feet. Cage, come on. Why don't you go to that bridge on the outside of town and stay and watch? I don't want us walking into any flanking patrols when we move out of here. Now, if you hear any shooting, we're not there by dark. You hightail it for home. Now, you got that? Got it. All right, move out. Kirby, you and I are going to have to check this town alone. Now, the rest of you men stay here. And I mean stay here. I mean, what do they expect, huh? They can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, you know. Look, the only Germans in this burg are dead ones. Ask him. How many were there, Temple? I don't know. Two. Maybe more. Pretty shot up? That's what I call slop. Tired of K-rations, huh? You know it. Hey, is this stuff any better heated up, Joe? <laughs> what is it? Sind eine Truppe Amerikaner ganz bestimmt. Bravo. Kirby, check the outside. See if this raised anything. Ja, das müssen Amerikaner sein. Lad das Gewehr! Und denkst du, das sind äh, Zivilisten? Put that helmet on. Yeah, 
away, Junior. Get your helmet on us. Stay down. Kirby. Give me a hand. You got it in the shoulder. Temple, you get over here and stop that bleeding. If you're gonna die, just get over there. This first aid gets on his cartridge belt. Wir brauchen eine höhere Stellung. Ja, das ist nicht hoch genug. Das Beste ist, wir gehen in den zweiten Stock. Nimm das Maschine her. Why they stop firing, Sarge? No. Can't see how they change their gun position. They got a better crack at us. Kirby, uh -huh. can you hear me? Uh -huh. We're gonna get you out of here, Kirby. What are we gonna do now? About the crowds, I mean. Watch your mouth. Kill him. Brown, you're coming with me. Where? You remember these? We're gonna get close enough. And throw in a couple. You can't. We're pinned down. I'll go with you, Sarge. No, thanks. He got us into this mess, and he's gonna help get us out. Now, you stay with Kirby. You could run all the way back home. I'll bet you wish we could. Look, why am I getting the blame for all this? Supposing I had checked that street before all the way down to the end, what would I have gotten for my trouble? My head blown off? Better one head than five. Is that a way out of this? They got the machine gun, pal. You think they got him? I don't know. There could be a whole platoon of crowds out there. We better get with Saunders. Wait a minute. Saunders told us to stay here with Kirby. You stay here with him. I'm gonna help him. two of you.
What are you doing here? I told you to stay with Kirby. Kirby's okay. Gainsborough's dead, Sergeant. Yeah, I know. Now, what can I do? What can you do? <laughs> Blow up that machine gun nest. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? I can get up on that roof. Climb along the rooftops. Go from one to the other. I think I can get close enough to throw a grenade in the window. Forget it, Junior. You'll never make it. I'll make it. I'm a dancer. Remember? Cover him anyway.
Alle mal runter! Schieß mal runter! Ich kann ihn von hier nicht treffen. Nimm das Gewehr, hol ihn mal runter. Sergeant, we got him! We got him, Sergeant! soldiers can get us back home. How you doing, Kirby? <laughs> Tell you the truth, Lieutenant. Shoulder's not bad. It's my bottom that hurts. I think those guys dropped me 12 times coming back in. How you feeling, Sergeant? I feel like staying here a month. You know, they got pills here to let you sleep right through artillery fire. I got some good news for you. You're getting five new replacements. Replacements? Well, I could use them. Of course, with that leg of yours, you're gonna have to get somebody else to break them in for you. Like Cage. No, Lieutenant, not Cage. How about Temple? Or Crown? Or Joe Gainsborough, if he was still around. <laughs> 